Hi, it's Carrie here at numerologist.com and I am so excited to share this with you. This is Winter V and I met Winter last night and I'm so blown away by his story. You know how we are scouring the globe here looking for the best wisdom we can find for you about everything, numerology, tarot, all kinds of divination. Well, Winter has been scouring the globe finding the secrets of kings, yes. the ancient secrets for wealth and happiness and prosperity. Winter has been visiting these ancient sites around the world and uncovering all these lost secrets. And so when he told me his story, I knew we had to share it with you. So we brought him here to share with you some of the secrets that he discovered. Well, so thank you for having me. Yeah, it's amazing. So the trip, the trip that we went on was breathtaking first off. So first we went to Cairo and we interviewed historians and professors in Cairo and at the pyramids about what made ancient Egyptians so long lasting, so wealthy, so prosperous, so dominating, so everything. I mean, they're, they're one of the oldest civilizations that we know of, but till, still to this day, like we're always taught about it in grammar school. So a lot for me to go there and actually see the pyramids, to see the tombs, we got to shoot in sarcophaguses, wow. um, which was, I can't, I, in the video, I talk about that. And I yeah. literally, when, I'm getting angel bumps. I, I, got, I got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah. You know, because yeah. there was mummies in there for thousands of years, and then I got to go and sit down there. Yeah, that's, I mean, I am getting angel bumps talking about it. And we're filming in Vegas, and it's hot here. So there's, you know, one thing I discovered with numerology, and even when I was doing theater, like we, when we did theater, we did ancient Greek plays, and I was always amazed that the same kind of dramas that people had thousands of years ago, the ancient Greek plays are still pertinent to us now. And then when I studied numerology, I was always amazed that this ancient science is still so relevant in helping us discover our life purpose and be prosperous and happy and wealthy. And so did you find that was similar when you yeah, discovered there this? Was, there was a lot of keys that the Egyptians utilized at their time that have been kind of lost over time. So we've turned some of those up through the interviews, th through the exploration, um, through the time that we got to spend there. And a lot of it does apply to numerology and astrology, the way that they worked with the stars, uh, the way that the pyramids are aligned. To this day, modern day science really can't describe how they align the pyramids in such a way that on certain days of the year, the stars shine in to the tombs. Yeah. And it's, I mean, really it's breathtaking. It's and, breathtaking. And, and, and you know, we're looking at these huge buildings here in Vegas, and the Great Pyramid was nothing like that. I mean, it was so ginormous, so huge. Um, standing at the base of it was And was the mathematical else. constructs that they used for this were, I, you know, we do have some things that we managed to keep relative to the modern world and apply, but we lost some of the ancient wisdom, We, we right? did, I mean, it said that they knew what, what pi was. Um, they, they had calculations for something that scientists today are calling faster than the speed of light. We don't even know about that. Um, it's said that they actually had electricity to some form. So when That's we were right. in the tombs, without a doubt, it would be pitch black with it out there. And, and, and so they've talked about, you know, could you do it with mirrors? Could you light up these tombs with mirrors? And that, that has been put down that that's not possible because of all the different angles and whatnot. Um, the ceilings with the hieroglyphs are, there's no soot, there's no, no burn marks, so it wasn't with candles or torches or anything. So really the Egyptians on their own were so advanced of their time and everything that they employed to, to pull off the feats that they did, I mean, we still don't have answers to, but we did do an investigation on that and got to the base of a lot of the stuff and uncovered some ancient secrets. And these are secrets that we can use in our life now? Yes, yes, so we, we discovered these secrets and we kind of transformed them and worked with them to apply them in the modern day. You didn't just go to Egypt, right? You went all over. You really yes, searched the world yes. high and low and went to some pretty amazing places. Yeah, so next we went to Jerusalem now. Jerusalem is one of the oldest cities in the world, one of the most religious cities by all means Definitely. in the entire world. We went to the Western Wall, we saw the, the, where Christ watched, walked with the cross and explored a lot there. And again, it, we interviewed historians at the Hebrew University and we actually got to interview a rabbi as well, right at the Western Wall. So you got both perspectives there. Two of the many perspectives yeah. there. Uh, we went on to Jericho and did some exploration there and then China. So we also went to China, we went to Beijing we went to the Great Wall, wow. and the Great Wall was established, was built obviously as a barrier to keep the Mongolians out of present-day China. And it took 
a long time to build. So, so we did some exploration there and, and got some good secrets about s establishing good boundaries in your life, both for work, for family, for, for everything in your life. And then we went to the Terracotta Warriors. So Wow. So these are amazing tools that have been time tested, that are ancient, and that have built empires. Yes. Right. Very successful, long, 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 long lasting, lasting empires. Empire. That's amazing. So I'm so excited that you're sharing this with us. And I'm so excited that you get to watch this. So if you want to know more about these ancient secrets to create more wealth and prosperity and happiness that are time tested, that built empires, click on the link below. I know you're going to love it. I'm so excited that we get to share it with you. So enjoy the journey. And thank you so much for sharing it with us. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Enjoy.